um, have some examples of dot patterns and putting them into equations, writing an equation for that pattern, or as a recursive function. <clears throat> so at time zero, we have three dots. Time one, maybe after one minute or one second or something, we have five. And then after three, whoops, need to make that a two, sorry. Then that would be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Well, you can see that it's just adding on two new dots each time. So I need to come up with an equation that increases by two each time. So the number of dots is equal to two times the time. How many do we have to start with? Time zero? We had three. So let's plug in a two and see if we get seven. So two parentheses two plus three is four plus three. Yeah, that gives us seven. <clears throat> so as a recursive function, we could say f of zero equals three and f of n equals f of, or we could even call it f of t, I guess. equals f of t minus 1 plus 2, because I'm adding 2 each time. Okay, starting out with 3 dots, and then I have 9, and then I have, let's see, I have a, a group of 3 there, a group of 3 there, a group of 3 there. There's a group of 3. So I have nine groups of three, so I have 27. So the number of dots is being multiplied by three each time. So I'm going to put three in parentheses raised to the T. And how many dots do I have to start with? I have three. <clears throat> and as a recursive function, we could say f of one equals three. Uh, oops, sorry, f of 0 equals 3, f of t equals f of t minus 1 times 3. We multiply by 3 each time. Okay, we'll start with 4, and then we have 12, and then we have... Well, let's see, we have a group of three there, a group of three there, a group of three there. We have that four times, so we have nine times four, 36. So <clears throat> we have um, the number of dots is equal to four times three raised to the t. So we'll multiply by 3 once, twice, and it'll continue in that pattern. We could say f of 0 equals 4, and f of t equals f of t minus 1. What do we do? We are multiplying by 3. So that's a recursive way of writing it. This is a, an explicit way of writing it. 